The front load washing machine door lock is burnt, so I will tell you how I made its alternative. This door switch or door lock has a coil inside it. The company recommends using these types of door locks with universal control boards. Unfortunately, if we want to install these types of door locks, we cannot install them here. First, I will open this machine door switch and then show you why another type cannot be installed here. When we observed this metal door lock hook, its face was installed on the left side of the machine door. In most front load machines, the door lock hook face is installed on the right side. Here that is a huge difference. I have another front load washing machine, and when we open the door, we see this door lock hook, its face is installed on the right side. The door lock hook position is opposite the door glass, which is different from another washing machine. Normally this type of door lock is installed in this position on the machine body. If we want to install it on the machine body, it does not match here because the face of the door lock hook presses the door lock mechanism to the right side. And reverse mechanism system has been installed in this door lock. After this, I turned the door lock in the right position, but we couldn't install it because of the door glass. Already I bought another small door lock for the machine. We tried installing it on the washing machine's body, but it's also impossible. So we will make an alternative system for the washing machine's door lock. Then the machine will work properly, and the same effects will deliver to us. I opened the washing machine door lock to make an alternative configuration with a universal PCB. There is a coil inside the lock, which works like a solenoid valve. There is a pin and spring inside the coil and the spring was hard to remove due to a faulty mechanism, off the camera, I removed both of them from the coil of the door switch. The pin is installed in the coil of the door switch, called the plunger, and fixed in this place. The plunger helps in the movements of the plastic mechanism upward and downward. The coil was burned from the inside, and it became faulty. Because of heating, you can see its plastic melted from the inside. That's why the plunger does not insert inside the coil of the door switch and does not work properly. Now I will try to fix this door lock to install it back into the washing machine's body with the alternative lock system. The door switch is ready now. Here we have a 220 volts operated relay which is of 10 amperes. We will control the PCB system through this relay, which gives a signal to the microcontroller to understand the door's on-off position. I have made some connections with the relay. These two connections are for giving input and energizing to relay, and these wires are line and neutral. See this third black wire which is common input to the relay, and as we observe the relay, here left side point is attached to the common point. When the relay is energized, the common point of the relay is disconnected from the left side and joins with the right side point. This is the input wire connected with the white wire inside the relay. This terminal is the output wire point. First, I made the connections in PCB. Here we start with the door control connection. Now I have installed one wire on the door control connection in PCB, and another part of the same wire will be installed in the door lock of the washing machine, which will be a phase input connection to energize the relay. Now I have arranged a second connection with the relay. Neutral and phase connections must be provided to energize the relay. For this purpose, a phase wire connection will be installed on the door lock of the washing machine, where I have already installed another connection. Now I will make the next connection, which is the connection of the relay. To energize the relay connecting the neutral supply with it is also important. Therefore, I will connect this blue wire with the black input neutral wire. You will understand later. So I will common these both wires. I have removed a small area of the protective insulation from the black neutral common wire, and now I am joining these two wires. Now, I will install this common black wire to the main supply or neutral of the PCB. I will make the next connection with these wires of the PCB. These are the common neutral points, and it is connected to the door switch terminal in the PCB. I will join this wire with the relay at this point. I will get output from this terminal. And I will solder this wire with the terminal because, due to vibration, the wire can get loose. Now, 
I have connected this point to the relay and soldered it. Now I will turn on the machine and show you. But first, I will open the door of the washing machine. I have opened the door. Let's start the program by selecting the process of the program. I have set the machine on spin mode. Now I have pressed the start button. The display will show the door switch error after a few seconds. Now you can see that error is showing on display. Now I will close the door of the washing machine. And the door has closed. As the door closed, the system got reset. Now you will see the drum of the machine rotating. Now the wiring connections are completed. Now the machine is working perfectly with the same effect. As you see that the machine is working properly, I will explain what changes I made to this door switch to make it work. First, I remove the bimetal strip of the one number output as it is useless for us now. So I have removed it from the door switch. After this, I also removed the coil, which will be used in the door switch. I will solder this bimetal strip in series with the coil connection point. Now coil connection point and bimetal strip are connected in series. I will install both of them again in the door switch body. First, I will set this bimetal strip in its place. Let's install the second bimetal strip in the second number terminal. You can see a gap between the door switch's second and third bimetal strips. I made the gap distance smaller by placing this second bimetal with the third bimetal strip. So they are joined together. Now we will see how they perform their function. First install this pin, which is very important and used for locking the door switch mechanism. I have installed this pin now. By locking it with the pin the mechanism cannot move upwards. Next, I will install this plastic mechanism which is with a spring. I have placed the mechanism as you see. When the door will get opened. See this gap between the bimetal strip, but as soon as the door will get closed, the gap will be filled, and these bimetals will join together to make a series connection. Hence, this is how we achieved it. But it only has one drawback, that anybody can open it easily as it will not be locked completely, and the machine will stop working, and the system will show the error. In this condition, water can flow out from the machine's tub. Just this is what the user will have to be careful of, and this system I made has no other cons. Click on the left or right thumbnail on the screen to watch our next videos. And subscribe. It's free. Thank you.